How'd you feel whenever you rode by and saw it burn I, up? I actually got tears in my eyes because I am a Mustang person. Yeah. And Hey everybody, welcome back to Nitro Union and today I've got a little story time for you. So everybody knows of a car that's uh, sitting somewhere, you stop and ask and no, it's not for sale, we're gonna fix it up someday. You keep asking, keep trying, keep trying, never seems to come up for sale. And worst case scenario, you see these stories online where something happens to a car, a tree falls on and it burns up, something like that. So today I have a story like that. That's one of our cars that we always stopped and checked on and uh, worst case scenario happened to it the particular car i'm talking about is uh it's only about 20 miles from our shop and we pass by it all the time i remember since i was a little kid uh going by this house and you know we pass by and obviously every time you pass by there you can see it from the interstate so we'd be going to louisiana somewhere to the speed shop or something like that and we'd swing by and uh you know you always have to at least look in the winter time the, the trees would be dead enough that you could actually see it from the interstate if not you'd have to jump off the interstate and hit some back roads and get to it but um you'd always look and see if that car was still there and every time it was still there and then uh sometimes we'd have somebody with us and we'd swing by there and hey man hop out and ask them if they want to sell that car i think it's been sitting on the side of the interstate you can see it coming off if you look just right course back in the day I, I know that car has been sitting there since the late 70s 79 at least I had a 78 Bronco and we would ride down there in it to look at it a friend of mine Ronald Johnson he had a 79 Bronco we'd ride in it and look at it sometime we'd always ask him if the car was for sale sitting half in and out under a carport at a house and just one of them same old store and knows we're gonna fix it one day we're gonna fix it one day late 70s early 80s that car was still sitting there and uh, I don't know, every time we'd get a chance, I'd take one of my friends down and let them go knock on the door and ask about it, you know. One day I was passing by, looked over, the house was gone. Um, I saw some smoke and uh, the house must have just burned down. The car sat right beside the house in a little kind of lean-to shed, um, <clears throat> kind of halfway out of it. And uh, it was just gone. The house burned. The car was still there. I could tell that it was still there. So I hopped off the interstate, ran down there to check it out. And uh, sure enough, the car had burned with the house. And uh, the back half of the car seemed to be not all that bad, but the front half looked pretty bad from the road. I didn't get out and look the first time. Um, so, of course, I was kind of sad, man. It almost brings tears to your eyes. You're just like, man, you know, that car sat there for all that time and uh, and then for something like that to happen. A little side note, uh, the people were okay. It's, it's a horrible tragedy that they lost their house, you know, and I'm worried about a car. But um, I, I looked up the news article and everything and was able to get in touch with some people and, and uh, everything was okay. They, they just lost the house and, you know, everything they had, which is very unfortunate the car included by the time i got back down there they were actually there cleaning up the property they were cleaning out the old house because they were getting a new house and, and uh, somebody was there and i uh, asked him i was like hey can i can i just hop out and snap a photo of it you know and get a little video and they're like yeah it's no problem For probably 40 years or better, I've been looking at that car. Until a month or so ago, I came up through there and looked, and the house had burnt down and fell in on it. Now, I don't know, there's probably been 10,000 people stopped and tried to buy that particular car. Yeah. And it's never left, and it's still there. And it may still be there <laughs> 10 more years from now. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, How'd you feel whenever you rode by and saw it burn I, up? I actually got tears in my eyes because I am a Mustang person. Yeah. And I like Mustangs. And I always wanted one just like that. I haven't got one, but I've got some other year models. But that one's gone now. So I really, uh, I'm really sad about it. Mm -hmm. 
I can't say a whole lot about that because I got some back here myself that's been sitting and people ask about it. But every once in a while, I will kick one out of the shop and finish it, you know. But that one's been sitting a long time. And uh, I can't really blame them for not getting rid of it myself. But someday, somebody's going to get that car. Yeah. But it's still there. But like I say, the only time you can really see it is in the wintertime. If you're coming north on the interstate and look just right, you can see it hanging up under that carport. Like I said, that's all burnt down now, didn't you say the house? Yeah, all it all burnt. burnt down, all set to the columns, and they moved a new house in there beside it, and the car sat, sat in the same spot. So they got moved, yeah. Yeah. By now they have a new house there the car is still sitting in the same spot uh, where the old shed used to be and uh but I, as you can tell from the video and stuff like that it's it's pretty bad i don't know that it would be worth you know trying to save because it got hot you know the front part of that car got really hot and the sheet metals warped and everything so now they're making new bodies and all that stuff so i don't know that it'd be worth trying to save but uh but just one of those stories man it's, it's an interesting deal um and uh it's kind of a lesson you know like sometimes instead of letting one sit around if you don't think you'll ever get around to it you know maybe just sell it let somebody else with this more capable has the resources the knowledge the know-how to uh to get it back on the road you know and, and move it on to somebody that'll appreciate it instead of letting it sit there um i can't say a whole lot if you saw my 70 mustang story uh, i let that car sit there for 10 years but i love that car that's a part of the family and uh, it was never going to go anywhere you know what i mean so it just it might have set up because circumstances weren't that great but uh and it's still sitting up again you go watch that series um but soon it'll be back and it'll be back better than ever so uh but anyway thank you guys for tuning in man and uh just want to share a little story things have been kind of slow in the shop we've been just doing regular day job boring stuff that you guys don't want to see so i figured we'd just share a story this week instead of uh instead of just showing a bunch of random crap so hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one